Welcome to the Libra Lounge with Keisha. I've got a guest, a co-host actually today. We have Professor, City Councilman, possible Mayor Skipworth. Hello. I just call him Sean. I always have to start like this. Hello. Because you always give me grief about that. Hi. Hi. So this is my friend, Sean. Um, I always say he's my brother from another mother. Um, we met and we were supposed to hate each other, but here we are now. Here we are. Here indeed. we are now. Here we are indeed. I'm actually surprised he came to the studio today because he has like followed every single quarantine rule that has been uh, produced. As a city leader, if all he takes is one picture of you in line yeah. somewhere and you're going to get skewered. So, so we can't take a picture? It's best just to say, I'm not here. What are you talking about? There's nobody's here. Can't prove anything. So, yes, he's totally at his house, and um, right. James has managed to do it over the phone like we did with um, Phil Waters. Um, so, right before we started the show, you the show actually saved James from getting his ass kicked. Cor correct, Producer James? I'm never really saved. It's just like a stay of execution, <laughs> I think. Every 30 days, it's revisited. Is, is that it? So, I have this thing about pointing. Okay. Um, I think that when you point, it should be to show a direction or possibly identify or something. Or guns up, you know. Yeah, like, like something yeah. like that. Okay. I, I don't like it when people point at uh, Sean. I didn't point at you. I pointed it was kinda, rhetorically. It was kind of kind of turned a little bit. It was close. It was close. So let me tell you this story about the points. <clears throat> So one day, uh, my brothers were still in high school, and I just got off from work. My mom called. She was upset because one of our brothers was acting up, and I put that in, in air quotes. Your brother from your mother. From your <laughs> mother. Yeah. Yes, we right. came from the same vagina. <laughs> okay, gotcha. <laughs> so um, went over there, and we were kind of like going back and forth, and then he started being like a little bit of an asshole, and I was like, Dante, if I cross this line right here, I'm going to kill you. And I've never touched my brothers, nothing like that. You wouldn't have to to kill them, I'm sure. I, no, because I do very well with my words. A harsh everyone, look, do it. Yes, everyone fears the mouth. And so I asked him a question, and the answer was my mom. But instead of him saying my mom. This wasn't like a yo mama joke. It was no. literally the correct answer was my mom. Okay. No. So he pointed at her. So that pissed me off. Mm. But then... She was in another room, so he had to curve his finger a little bit to make it to where I knew he was pointing at her. And before I knew it, I jumped over the spot where I told him, don't let me cross this. And I told them. <laughs> Rhetorically, I'm sure. Uh, James? No, literally. Literally. Huh? Yeah. I choked them. What's the statute of limitations on that? Assault? I wish that motherfucker would try to file charges on said, me. I wish I'd killed him. That's what you said. Whoa, I, whoa. I'm go after I get out of jail, I'm going to kill your ass again. Um, so, yeah, everyone knows I have a thing about points. So, occasionally, James or Skylar will forget mm -hmm. for, like, a moment. And they will point at me, but then they'll quickly throw out all the other fingers. So, it's not like, no, I'm not pointing at you. I'm just... Being expressive with all my fingers. Now you have me thinking if I point a lot. I, I don't feel like I do, but I think that's something you would notice if you did it a lot. You would just, I don't. I haven't noticed I you know. pointing a lot. I don't know. Because I would have said something about it. I usually don't, uh, I don't think I do. I'm going to go with, I don't think I do that a lot. Right now, he's holding his hands down to make Carefully sure he doesn't point. White knuckling. <laughs> at anything that's at okay. all. So, okay. If you're a friend of the Libra Lounge, you know what time it is. It's time for the gab. We know she has a really big mouth, which sounds kind of dirty, and that's probably true too. Let's gossip the gab with Keisha. All right, so this has been like the celebrities have really been well behaved because Cause they have to. I know, which makes you know doing celebrity news and gossip quite boring. It's like house arrest for the country. This it really is. Like. And like there hasn't been much on TV or anything like that. But one night, James and I watched this movie, Crawl. Have you seen it? I've heard of it. I haven't seen it. Though. So um, you told me about it. it's really, really good. And it's based. here's why it's so good. We're here in Texas. So, you know, every what, third year, every three years, we'll have a hurricane. So all this shit can really happen. Um, it was really realistic. So 
But it's basically about a dad and his daughter. Were you going to watch the movie? Because I'm ruining it for you right now. I think we've crossed that bridge, so All just right. go Spoiler ahead. Spoiler alert if you've not seen the movie. And, you know, the area is, they're in Florida, right? Yes, yeah, Florida. The area is very, very flooded, so they're having to battle alligators or crocodiles. What do they have? Alligators. I definitely area. remember hearing about this movie now, yeah. It was so crazy, like, he and I were screaming in the house. Like, screaming to the top of our lungs. No, not he and I. You were screaming. Like, yeah, you, you make know, the Daniel, surprise you did. You screamed a few times. It wasn't... Okay. Did so you let's jump or scream? There's Both. a difference, you know. Both. It, no, it was a jump like, oh, damn. Look at that. It okay, so like did, a, that's what you were doing? Yeah. So what was I doing? Ah! Like, literally screaming. Like, in fear. That's what you do. You make these loud... Almost bird sounds in in <laughs> like excitement and expression. Okay, now I'm gonna paint a picture for you. Okay, your the world's your canvas. Go. For yes, it. it is. All right. So imagine, picture this. Picture this. Picture we're, now this. we're watching Golden Girls. Or, yeah. yeah. <laughs> picture <Yeah>. this. <laughs> and I can't do a Sophia accent. Yeah. So um, there's a dad who has been bitten by an alligator. Okay, now. That's not something that happens every day. People don't just get bitten by alligators. Well, I don't know. It, it, is this Florida? You know, they always say, it's Florida. Florida, man. Like, that shit that's always that's happens insane. in Florida. So then his daughter's trying to rescue him. There's a hurricane outside. Foolish. Yes. Um, no one else is on their street. Everyone's evacuated. The so these, house... are, these are the morons that stayed, ignored yes. all the evacuation orders. and. Okay, so here's, okay. In her defense... The dad went to kind of go close down their house and got bit by the fucking alligator. So he's unconscious and hiding out. So the daughter goes to try to figure out where he is. They can't find him. So you're watching this movie, you know, paint this picture. Water. Lots of water. I'm black. So I don't like lots of water. Okay, so that's one. Then there's not one alligator. But two alligators, and these alligators look like they weigh like five thousand pounds. What do we call that? Is is there a name for? Is there a pack or is it a swarm? Do they have? Some, what, know, are, what are there's a group cr of you alligators? You know, crows. There's like what's called a murder, a murder, a murder, of, murder crows. of crows. You didn't now, think I knew that. Now I see James looking. No, who said okay. that? Why would you assume? Because sometimes I'll see say, you always down yourself. Did you assume that everybody no, thinks you're you, you don't know? Anything. Here's why. Because I say really smart things. I probably mispronounce the word, but then James was like. You have been married to a white man for quite some time. You're learning. Well, don't, you're put, learning. don't put James' stuff on me now. That's I'm not. not you know what? You're right. That's not fair. So I think that... Oh, did James get an answer? Is there oh, a name for a pack I do, of alligators? But I want to hear what you guys think it might be. Okay, okay. Oh, wow. All so right, so, this. so, so this, this must mean that it's something interesting. A Ooh. scale of alligators. Ooh, that's a good guess. A scale? A scale. Okay, Sean? Oh, gosh. Um, I think that a frenzy. Of gators. Okay. A jaw of gators. That'd be fun. It's a congregation. A congregation. A congregation. Yeah, it's a like the most boring term for a group of anything. Why well, it should be a murder of gators? It I mean, really a murder of should crows, be a, like a, a chomp of gators or a, something a, like that. A two storm or something. Yes. A gator storm. Yes. <laughs> that was. A, a I don't fear alligators a, as much anymore. I'm like, y'all just call it congregation. A gator get it. Yeah. There yeah. You go. That's, yeah. Exactly. A congregation. That's just a damn congregation over there. Con they, do they have little Sunday hats on? I know, there? right? I see the gator swaying to the music. And they have the little know. church fans and things like that. Yeah. <laughs> now we have to draw. Somebody needs to draw that picture. You yes, know, we do. We do. Okay, so I was screaming because it was just, it was so real. And I was like, James, do you think Skylar and I would have survived? He's like. No, because y'all would be in a fucking hotel somewhere high up in the sky. In ordering, New Jersey. In like New you would Jersey be across the country. The desert. There's no yes. alligators in Arizona. <laughs> right. Let's get You're hiding this. in Arizona. So yeah. I kept screaming because it was just like, have you ever seen the movie The Gray? I have not. I've heard of that one too. You have? Seen it. Okay, I'm not going to tell you about it. Okay. But you will love this movie. But I'm kind of like James. Is Liam Neeson? Is in yes, okay. it's Liam Neeson. Yeah. And he's not. his daughter hasn't been kidnapped. Oh, well. Okay, yeah. His daughter hasn't been kidnapped in this film. So I was just like, James, this is so... It was it was realistic. And I think that's why... Because mm -hmm. I love horror films and things like that. They don't scare yeah, me. Do but that... I'm like, that shit could really happen. You know? It had kind of that um, that Cujo. Mm -hmm. Is it Cujo? Where it's yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know it's Stephen King, but it's a rabid... 
adult it, Bernard, that could really happen in happens. real life. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so. I live with a rabbit kind of dog. Realism scare. We call him James. <laughs> you just all have rabies shots, so you don't worry about it. Yay. <laughs> all right. So, um, so, yeah, we've been, like, watching a lot of movies, uh, doing some Netflix, things like that. Yeah, that's kind of what we've been doing. So, we, right when this all started, you know, Netflix had a lot of shows that we watched that came out. Mm. So, um, Ozark, the, the third season I got to watch out. that one. Great show. Uh, if, you, if you watch Kingdom, mm -mm. so you like zombie movies. or mm -hmm. Okay, so it's, it's a zombie movie, but it's set in, I'm not sure the century, you're probably going to get it wrong. It's set in, like, 15th or 16th century Korea. Oh, wow. It's dubbed over. It's Korean, but mm -hmm. it's, it's really good, and mm -hmm. it has a few good twists on it, and there's some, like, political intrigue between, oh, like, I the know. emperor. I know. You like that part. Between, it's kind of, if you like Game of Thrones, is that kind of intrigue, oh, that okay. sort of stuff. So it's got, uh, it's got some of that, like, some world politics stuff going mm -hmm. on, but then there's, and there's zombies are rising up. Always and, fucking zombies. And there's huh? another season of that. So it's sort of like watching, you know, people with samurai swords fight zombies, right? Okay, so, that we got to put that one on the list. It's, that it's sounds good. pretty good. It's good. Um, we'll watch that. Uh, we never watch, we like Marvel movies. So we, yes. But we hadn't watched uh, the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. ever. We just finished watching that. Okay. To the end. I guess it ends the summer. The it kind of went season. downhill the last yeah, couple of seasons. Yeah, it's getting a little weird. Mm -hmm. It started to turn into, like, Firefly. I remember Josh Whedon is doing this one, and I thought, this is becoming about space. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. that's not what. But it, it's not bad. It was it was okay to, to watch. Not as good the last right. season, so you're right. Um, Ozark, I thought up until show. last week, it was about, like, people that live out of water. Well, The name sorta. just threw me off. Well, yeah, it's about going to the... Wandering money for drug cartels yeah. in those arms. Now, <laughs> then my interest was peaked. I'm like, okay, I think I can sit. You know, it didn't help that it had fucking Justin Bateman. Jason Bateman. Yeah. Jason Bateman. All you can think about is he wasn't on Family Ties. His sister was. Well, he was on uh, Curvy Enthusiasm. No, no, not Curvy Enthusiasm. Uh, what show was he on? Oh, what is it? It's that one they brought back. He was on an 80s show. Jason Bateman. He was on lots and lots of stuff. He's known for that one really recent that had that cult following. They got canceled and it went back. Was uh, it on FX? It was, yeah. uh, I can't remember the name all of a sudden. But I can't remember. Arrested Development. Yes. Oh, uh, I never watched yeah. that one. I never did either, but he's, he, like I said, had a kind of a cult following. Okay. I understood. No, he, you're like, he's very snarky in this one. Is he? The dialogue's very good. And the first episode will will pull you in pretty quickly. I don't um, relate well to snarky people or snarky characters. You'll, I, just I, I just have a feeling, yeah, I was going to say, I have a feeling that you'll... <laughs> This one's, it'll drag, it'll pull you in. Well, you know, I've been missing, because, you know, we go to the movies a lot. Yeah, I was talking about that the other day. Yeah, that one hurts. I mean, it hurts to it pass does. by the movie theater, and there's just nothing. But I tell you what, and I told James the other day, I said, the new Fast and the Furious movie is scheduled to come out. This Fast and the Furious 27? It's 26. Is it called PAL? You know, it, boom. No, it's called FF26. Yeah, that's it. FF26. So which one did you say this? How many movies has there been? What did you say? I think we're actually on number nine. Are they doing like the iPhone? They're just calling it 26. How they just skipped that model number. They said, we're calling this one the 10. It should be nine, but we're going to call it 10. I think it's. I think we're on nine or 10. You yeah, 26. Have but 26 it. just sounds good to me. So I told you. Yeah, they'll start doing them like they do Madden games. Like this is Fast yeah. and Furious 2020. Madden Furious 25. 2020. Right. Yeah. In and, 2017. I'd be okay with that. So I told James, I said, because my best friend and I are huge Fast and the Furious fans and we go every opening night. We make James take us. And I said, I'm not, you know, now they're doing the movie releases at home. I'm like, yeah. I'm not fucking watching Fast and the Furious at home. I, no. Yeah, you know, it depends on your entertainment center, I guess, right? It, Even it, if I had a movie theater size screen atmosphere. at home, yes. And because the number one reason is because I live my life one quarter mile at a time. So if I have to go in a fit, you, you, you've never seen the movies, have you? I've, you know, I think I've seen a couple of them. Go sit over there. They start to blend together. No. What? I don't watch all of them. You're being rude. What do you mean? You first of all, I've seen a couple of them. Yeah. And then they all, all blend them. together? Well, there's a lot of cars. Yeah. And a lot of car chases. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? You're doing way too much. You're being rude. You're being disrespectful. You're spitting in my face right now. I have dry mouth. Go I'm home. How am I spitting in your face? Go home. You want really spitting. I'm going to slap you. You want 
You need to go home and watch one through twenty-five before twenty-six comes one out. One through twenty-five, summer. but really, it's like ten. Okay. Uh, yes, it. yes. And I told so the, when I said I live my life one quarter mile at a time. If you're a Fast and Furious fan, that's like one of the best quotes mm -hmm. from the movie. Um, but if I have to go sit in a movie theater with ten, because our the maxing is ten people now, right? Yeah, something. You can like go that. to Georgia. They're gonna let you just go in there. I guess packed up. Like I'm willing whatever. to take the risk of Corona to see Fast and the Furious open night like I used to in a movie theater. So there's this, you ever heard the term invisible poor before where they talk about people are so poor we don't even notice them that they exist, you know? No. Well. Because I don't, like, it's just I don't of, associate with poor people. Well, exactly. That's, you got it. <laughs> so there's, sometimes people talk about the invisible rich, that there's people okay. that are so rich we're not aware. And so I had a, a guy I work with, he grew up very affluently and mm -hmm. did all, you know, kind of knew people who. They had their own house in high school at prep school, and they're part, you know, they drew, drew drunken parties. Is so, he still alive? Is yeah. Friend? Is yeah. he old? No, he's about my age, I think. Is um, he married? Yeah. Would he be yeah. willing to have a mistress? Mm, he wasn't that rich, so. Oh, um, never mind. His wife thinks. Anyway. Yeah, okay. Um, so he was talking about, you know, what do really rich people do? Mm -hmm. They have new release movies at their house, they pay the license fee to have like. Um, Avengers Endgame at their house. They pay the ten thousand dollars for the real movie, I and mean, they have their no, 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 because they have a theater at their home. They have a theater and a movie screen because, and they're like, "What do you mean you go to the movies? We just we just order the movie and they send it to our house on opening night. We watch." Like it's no big deal. Yeah, and and they're and they're like, "What do you mean people don't do that? I mean, yeah, we'll just chop her back to the house. What do you mean?" And it's talking about. Did people, you say chopper back yeah, to the house? There's sort of this when you talk about like that 0.1%, you mm -hmm. know, there's or the 1%, there's people that are so wealthy. It's you, in the same way you don't ever encounter the most destitute people. Right. You don't ever encounter these people either. And but we're not wanna, even aware of how wealthy people them, are. Though. Well, of course you do. Cause I you, do. Because then you could go to the movies. Basically, yeah. they're like, it's in the other room. Go on in. But see, here's the thing. I like the smell of the movie theater. I like the. Oh, I bet they got a popcorn machine and all that stuff. Sure. Oh, yeah. What? Oh, well, we could. Act. Okay, wait. Now this makes more sense. We could actually invite a whole bunch of people. To you could dump some soda on the floor, make it sticky. I mean, I you could like work that, that out, you know. But I like so. it that ever, there's more people there that are excited about the movie. And, you know, we're mm -hmm. all saying, making sounds at the same time, cheering at the same time. So you could open a movie theater. And charge. Yeah. I want to okay. charge people. Yeah. That would be. Well, see, and that's the thing. When you have that warning where you can't show, like, Netflix in your house mm -hmm. to other people. Well, they can because they actually paid the license from the movie studio Wild. for the movie. So they can have – they don't have to charge, and they can display it publicly if they want. They yeah, that's, the all that, uh, that's all that Cinemark or yeah. any other uh, movie company does is they, they, mm -hmm. they purchase the rights to play in their theaters. They don't – they're not part the, of the distribution. Yeah, right, right. They're just rich – these people are just rich enough. They just do, do it on their own exactly. so they can watch it at home. I bet that's what the Kardashians do. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Sure. I'm sure. Yeah, but to, for he was saying among the kind of class of people, they're like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, of course you do that. What do you mean? You, what? Like it's no fucking. You don't buy it. your own movie. You don't get no. that from the distributor. That's just people I didn't even pirate know people movies. Do that. Why would you pirate music? Well, and you movies? could just buy it. Just buy it. Buy the license. Get it in H. Get it in high definition on your on your music screen. We need to start hanging around people like that. Because think about it, you have to have a. You don't just get some projector. It's right, gonna be a, right. You're going to have to get a projector capable of right. like movie professional quality. Those aren't cheap either. Yeah, yeah this, this is a serious the, business. Yeah, yeah this is the kind of rich where it's like uh, in in Justice League where Superman you know loses his mom's house. Yeah, and ba and Batman's like, well, it's okay. I bought the bank. Yeah, that's the yeah. So yeah it's, 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 it's Bruce Wayne, Tony Stark, right? Yes, yeah, exactly. I like that. His house yeah. gets blown up. He's like, yeah, I'll just go live in this big tower. Yes, I I want to hang out with those kind oh, of people yeah. now. <laughs> so now I have a new goal in life is to get rid of bums like you, you and you, James, you too, you're included in that, and hang out with people like Tony Stark. That's that's my new goal in life. They're like narcissists too, though. But anyway, that's the so am I. A little bit. If you're willing to be a groupie, I guess it'll work. No, I mean, you know damn well I'm not going to be Now, a you'd be a groupie if somebody had you go to their private media theater all the time. But I, I'd be the type of groupie, I'm like, but I'm sitting next to you in the front, right? You know what I mean? Like, I still want to be bossy about it. So, <laughs> anyway, I'm hoping that someone told me, well, it's going to be a while before we get to go to the movies. Could be. I, they were talking about... Um, I think it was you. They were talking about Black Widow coming out direct digital. But now I'm hearing maybe they're not going to do that, that it may still come out. Yeah. But the studios at some point are going to need money because yeah. they pr they've spent the money to produce these exactly. movies. Exactly. And even a company like Disney, I mean, everybody thinks they're just invincible, but right. I mean, they have cash flow issues yeah. like anybody else. And at some point, even if it's marked down as a loss, they're going to say, we need to bring in something for this movie and they're going to 
release it somehow. So can you imagine uh, if Disney just went broke, broke, and Mickey Mouse was on the side of the corner like panhandling? And shit like that. <laughs> He's got like mini pimped <laughs> out. Yeah, minis on like yeah. Skid Row, prostituting herself for a Daisy, playing oh, the guitar, yeah. sitting on the corner. <laughs> That's the corner. Yeah. Please. Yeah. With these, that right there would be like it really is a fucked up. It's time, bad. Right. I mean, it's, it's hard times when cartoon characters have yeah, to go out. Yeah, Mickey's gloves aren't they white should, anymore. They're gray. Remember who framed Roger Rabbit? They should do yeah. a new one with you know they're all out of work. And yeah. Like, we can catch Corona too. I don't know. Why are we down? not writing this stuff down? Know. Like we need to be like writing this down. It's our idea. What was, that, what was that puppet movie we just watched? Uh, the one where it was it was done by the the Jim Henson. Is it Dark Crystal? No, no, no. no. Dark Crystal. You it was about um, the the detective one. Yeah. Oh, is it Detective Pikachu? No, 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 this, no this one was. was a, I can't remember the no, name. No, these of were. It. Oh, who? What? What was it? Anyway, uh, it was it was public. it had sex in it. Oh, it was it was adult and yeah. violent, but it was, it was just Team like America that. back from the back in the day. Team America was on last night, I and it. I watched it, and it was so good. I haven't seen um, that probably in yeah. This was years, yeah. part of this show was some of the puppets had like lost their job, and they were on the street. They were yeah. Some of them like, were like drug heads, yeah. and um, there's one scene where a detective <laughs> he's having sex with a, uh, another puppet, and he came. But Silly string. Basically, it was everywhere. like. Explosion isn't the correct term. Oh, what would be the right term? It was it was like two kids got in a silly string fight. Yes, and it just kept going and going and going. It was all over the windows, the doors. The happy time murders. The happy time murders, yes. It's, so it's a good, good one. It's a good one. Okay, so reality TV has been the one thing that has been saving me throughout this whole boredom. Now, do you watch reality TV, Sean? What? Not really, no. I don't want to say that universally, though. There may be some that I've watched. I think the majority of the stuff that I watch is reality TV. I count CNN as uh, reality TV <laughs> at this point, I think. Of course you would. So I, I, when reality TV was first a thing, mm -hmm. back, you know, turn of the millennium. The real world. There were some things I watched back rules. then. Um, you know, even the, the first season of The Apprentice, we liked that a lot. I mean, we, yes, we liked that's that true. Show. That is we true. That I did, too. Donald I, Trump I was did. a little nicer back then in that show. I kinda... liked Donald Trump when he was on the show. He was... He was. If you go back and and I've actually been interested to go back and watch those. Because, it's good because he's very just and it's a TV, right? So mm -hmm. his personality is different mm -hmm. in, on that show, but still it was it was very different, very right. different image from him. But you know, I watched some of that back then, and um, in fact, I remember I was Melissa and I were long distance dating, and I remember one time, Aww. yeah, it was like six hours apart. I remember I come down to visit her one weekend. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, it was like, oh, it's one of the last ones of The Apprentice when they're whittling it down. And mm -hmm. we got there in time and, you know, ate wow. spaghetti with, like, cheddar cheese in it. And we're 20, <laughs> you know, we're like, I was like 21, 22, right? And she's living in this tiny apartment, you mm -hmm. know, with this job out of college. And oh, now look at you guys. It was now. nice. It was nice. I the know. good old days. Well, yeah. I, I'm a reality TV junkie. Like, it's just pathetic. So what I've managed to do during this quarantine time is get my mom stuck on my show. Oh, okay. That she would never watch. So there's a show on TLC called uh, 90 Day Fiance, which we talk about it quite often on here and on our social media pages. But um, there's this guy. His name is Big Ed. And Big Ed has what? what is the disease that he has? It's a no neckness. It's uh, Klinghoffer's or something. It's... He has like... Kelsons, it's, I it's, it's find bad. It. Okay, don't feel sorry for him yet. Okay. <laughs> he's a fucking asshole. Like, oh, I can still he, he's an You do. At first, we all loved Big Ed. And I have to tell the truth. But he's not very nice uh, on the show, huh? He's, um... Kind of a blank. It's but... not that he's not he's nice. Not, it's not he that he's not nice. kind of creepy. And he's mm. super creepy. And fragile. Very fragile. And that's coming and from me. And soft. Him. He's very, like, not just, like, physically well, soft, because he's doughy. But he's, he's just he's man. emotional. Well, maybe it's if you know. I would imagine if you go through life with the well, people are not very kind. Well, know? here's the thing. So, yes, we did all feel sorry for him mm -hmm. because we see how he looks now. But then there was a picture that was released of him when he was in his twenties. No, that uh, that's fatness that has he's achieved. Over so you don't the years. think he really has that disorder? I think he really has he it, but it's not nearly oh. as bad. I mean, his picture from twenty years ago, you can't even really tell he has it. Oh, I see. Now, yeah, granted, he's four eleven. Yeah, so it's, he's, uh, just, he's it's a called, small little feller. It's called clippophile or clippophile syndrome. Yeah, so it's, and it's fused, a like fusion his, of... Like his neck is fused. It's short, yeah. fused. He's got a lot of other little 
It's just kind of hey, imagine, so like imagine the penguin. Turned. Imagine the penguin. The penguin. Yes. Mm-hmm. He's shaped like the penguin. Yeah. Literally. Yeah, yeah. But he, I mean, it's not a total gimp of a neck. I mean, he can still turn and things like that. He can't turn his head. Does he just kind of, he just sort of rotates his. He certainly Does rotates. He? Yeah. His torso. Yeah. Look how many times he should have been surprised and turned his head at something and mm-hmm. doesn't. He has to turn his whole shoulders. Okay. So <laughs> last week's episode, as we all know, he's in the Philippines with Rosemarie and they've been staying in a hotel, but now she wants to take Ed home to meet her family. And this where shit goes just really, really, really south, really fast. Just this was an episode that I was screaming because I could, I tried to picture myself there. She lives in. Ooh. It's a it's a marketplace in the Philippines, and her the where they live is attached to their little it, like, the store. stolen so goods. So their front. walls look like what's something that's a little bit stronger than cardboard? Vertical board. Okay, that. It looks like it's made of that, <laughs> and it's covered with, like, newspaper clippings and things oh, like God. that to add, like, an extra layer. They basically look like they live in a birdcage. Gotcha. No, birdcages <laughs> are better than that. I, I'd, re- I'd be okay but, with living in a birdcage. You just people put up foil or something, you know, for insulation. But, but it, 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 There's no roof. Foil could kind of Wait. run you, so newspaper is a little cheaper than foil, I guess. Exactly. There yeah, is foil a roof. would, like, do an oven effect. Yeah. Where it it's, a roof, but it's, it's a roof, but yet it's not a roof. So anyway, Big Ed, who is very pompous, and he can only sleep on a, a thousand thread count sheets. Mm-hmm. He's got, like, an ectopic dermatitis or he moved eczema. Into the, he moved into this ratty bird cage house. No, he went to visit. So, he, so, so the setup... He met this online twenty what 23, 24, 23. 23 year and old he's Filipino. 53. He's fifty three. It's a Filipino girl online, so he's going to go vi- visit her for the in first order time. to get the visa. Is this a mail order bride thing, kind of, sort of. But the, is this like what it. the yeah. whole show is about? It's different couples, but in order for the person to get the visa to come to America. They have to meet face to face and prove that there's a relationship. Right, so this is him doing. You can't just straight up here's some money. Exactly. Trying to call that prostitution. Yes. Uh, but sure. Which it basically <laughs> is what it is, but yeah. it's just fancier prostitution, yeah. really. So he goes there. Um, there's no electricity. There's no running water. No anything. So he's eating. Well, pretending to eat dinner with her family because that fucking shit looked like it was the the breeding ground for hepatitis C. And that's probably where coronavirus started, right there at her family's table while they were eating with chickens walking around and shit. So she doesn't have a bed. She has literally a mat that she rolls out every night Uh and sleeps on. So Big Ed, he sweats like me, and that's a lot. And he was like, but it's raining, and there's wires hanging, and just... There's this one yeah. scene where the fan stops blowing, and he was just like... Is it like bare wire? There's no insulation on the oh, wire? Oh, no, yeah. yes. It's just like copper. Sure. There's dripping, yeah. like there's dripping spots. It's just bad. Um, so eh. he makes it through the night, so the next day he has to shower, but there's no bathroom. So they literally go out into like the back where it's like it's Like the alley. river or something? Or? No, the river would have been good. <laughs> no, it wasn't that fancy. So, you know, she has to fill up a bucket, and he's kind of like, but... I don't know how it works. Just I'm like, okay, the blue bucket's for fucking cold water. The red bucket's for hot water. Like, what do you mean you don't know how it works? <laughs> so basically, she has to fill up the buckets and just throw it on him. And then she has to do a cuckoo sound so someone can turn on the hose so she can hose him down. And you, and you have to do a cuckoo sound to do it. You can't cuckoo! just say, you can't just say, all right, hose him down. You have no, to make this word no, noise, no. apparently. It, it, to me, I heard a cuckoo. So he is freezing cold water, and then her dad's taking a shower with him. There's a bar of soap that looks like it's one rub away from just just being soaked. It, it's no like more. that little sliver where you're like, I yes. can, maybe I can get by with this today. Yes, but you're sharing it with everybody else yeah. in the house. And they're not naked. Just they're not declare. naked. They just like, have on shorts. shorts. Yeah. And then, like this rat that was the size of James's head. It's right there. And so all we see is Ed peeking around across some rose. What is that? Like, my, what do you mean what it is? It's, it, it, it's a sore rat. It's, it's like the rat lives there with them because he wasn't excited. He wasn't moving fast. It's, it shows no fear of, of humans. It no, just walks among them. He was taking a shower with them. Oh, well. He had soap suds and everything. Well, like, I he mean, was, it was a group shower. Let's control disease. I mean, keep the rats a little cleaner. It's better for everybody, <laughs> right? So. That's what we've learned from this whole corona deal. Yes. I was just like, I, I looked, James just looked at me. He was like, 
you would have fled the Philippines uh, as fast as Do you as want you dirty or clean rats running around? I say clean, but that's just me. I, so I, it, I, no, I don't want, want no rats. <laughs> so no, worst, no rats at all. So the worst thing is, you know how you see a rat or a mouse in your house, and when it runs out, it looks like it's surprised to be there? Yeah. Yeah. This rat looked like it was like... Yeah, they're actively trying to avoid right the home. humans and yeah, the pets in the house. No Not this one at all. No fear. He looked at Big He looked at Big Ed like, are you done? It are wakes you done up, with the soap? He's waking up, lighting a cigarette. So, yeah, yeah. You got a light van? Yeah, he yeah. looked at Big Ed like, are you done with the soap? Because I'm going to go ahead and use it. I, I'm going to need that to eat. Yeah. So it's just like, it, it, it's some of the best entertainment on television. Uh, when we get back from this break... Um, I know I'm going to be doing this little part by myself because I'm in here in the studio with two white guys and they don't know either one of these people. It's funny, you invited me for this day when you had this list. When you I mean, invited me, I thought, oh, there must, she must want to do some political stuff or something. I'm like, okay. No. I'll banter with you anytime, though. So, yeah, you know, I knew you can hang. I knew you can hang. So we will be right back. Sassy Class Boutique is the hot spot for your fashion, beauty, and home decor desires. We celebrate women of all shapes and sizes with our trendy collection of regular and plus size clothing. Looking for the right accessories? We have upcycled Louis Vuitton handbags, vegan purses, and jewelry to add sass to your class. We also offer health and beauty products from salon quality hair care to cruelty free makeup. Our edgy home decor items will make you the envy of all of your neighbors. Sassy Class Boutique also offers custom items like shirts, hats, and other gifts for any occasion. All of our vendors are female-owned small businesses, and together we are Sassy Class Boutique. Located at 3709 Fatter Drive in Dickinson, Texas, 77539. Or shop anytime with us at www.sassyclassboutique.com. Welcome back to the Libra Lounge Key Show. I just wanted to remind you guys to make sure that you're following us on Facebook, Instagram. You subscribe to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to us on iTunes and leave us a five-star review. You can also find us on the TuneIn app, Laughable app, and iHeartRadio. All right, so everyone, except for y'all too. Okay. You, everyone has been talking about the new IG battles that have been going on. It started with Timbaland. Do y'all know who Timbaland is? What's an IG battle? Start right there. Oh, Instagram God, battle. Damn. Instagram battle. There okay. you go. There you gotcha. go. There you go. What's a Timberland? A Timberland's a place with timber and no. Oh, it's no, it's those shoes. It's Timberland shoes. Your right? turn. Your guess. Because he's striking out over there. Well, I, I know what I said is wrong, but that's where I'm going to go. Y'all don't know who Timbaland is? No. Is he black? Yes. Okay, I'm done. You don't know who Tim Woo! is? I'm you not touching that, James. Uh, no, I don't know who he is now. Not because he's black. It's not why I don't know who he is. <laughs> I just don't know who he is, unlike James. But He's no, a I producer, he right? He's he like is one of the producer. greatest music oh, producers. He? Who's, he, who's he produced? Did he work with the Beatles? He's I'm like gonna say no age. on that one, James. I'm gonna go He's a no. little bit older than us. Okay, so Aaliyah, okay. Justin Timberlake, Missy Elliott. See, okay, I know all the. Okay. Nelly yeah. Furtado, some of the biggest hits he has produced. Them. Yeah, you could have probably told me any. I probably wouldn't know who half the music producers for anybody is, no matter who the. But I know the. I know all those artists. Now you yeah. know. Okay. So the next time a black person asks you, hey, Timberland. Okay. Timberland. Gotcha. Not Berlin. Timberland. Okay. Timberland. B A. All right, so, oh, Swiss so his, name, okay. his name follows the A, not E-R. Rule. Anyway, and so he and Swiss Beats, do y'all know who Swiss Beats is? If yeah, we didn't know Timberland, it. how the fuck are we going to know Swiss Beats? Oh, Lord. Okay, Swiss so he's cheese, married to Alicia Keys, he and he's said. also okay. one of the greatest music producers. Okay. So <clears throat> since everyone's bored and stuck at home, they're like, let's do a battle of their greatest hits. So an IG battle is, it's like they're both on IG Live, but the screen is kind of split. Okay. So one of them throws out, but, but there's nothing but shit talking the whole time, but it's all fun. So they will throw out a hit. He, one person will throw out a hit. Then the other one's got to come back with a well, motherfucker, well, this one goes hard right here. So it was really, really good. It like broke IG. Hmm. So Babyface, who is the, one of the most celebrated music producers and writers in the industry that neither one of you know, but that's okay. I'm going to let that slide. And Teddy Riley, who's also a big hit maker, they decided to do an IG Live as well. Unfortunately, things did not go as well as it did with Timbaland and Swiss Beats. Like, it, it, it didn't even go. Mm -hmm. So instead of keeping it simple, like it was supposed to be, Teddy Riley 
He's fucking in this place with a stage. He's got live, uh, he's got band members. He's got a whole production crew. He's got a microphone. <laughs> he's got on a velour track suit. Like, he is ready, but so not motherfucking ready. He, won he, he was not ready at all. Babyface is in the studio. He's got his iPhone. He's ready to go. Teddy Riley fucks this like a group of chimps literally could have done this better. So they're overcompensating. Right? Yes, he has a hype man over there dancing. Do you think he even played three songs? No, he did not. It was fucked up. Everyone was talking shit all over IG about this because finally Babyface, it, this is how it was. You know when you're on the phone, you're like, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Teddy Riley said that maybe 5,000 times. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Well, that, that way can later you, you can blame it on that and say, well, you know, I was having these trouble or I don't think they could hear me. So that. That was what it was. It wasn't, it was, a, fair, it wasn't a fair contest. See, I, it was so it was so bad, and Babyface just like staring like. It sounds like nobody likes when you try to buy something that you have to earn, right? So even it like a contest, if you got all this like crap in the background, right. and you're showing it up, you're just throwing around money, but you got no you got no skills, it right? It was so nothing, nothing. Babyface is in his studio like. It got to a point that Babyface said, "You know what? We apologize. I think we're just gonna have to do this again." He never lost his cool. Nothing like that. We're going to have to do this again and do it right because you guys deserve better. And you go, nah, I won. I'm good. And I was like, I mean, Teddy's dancing, you know, popping his fingers. I'm like, but what a song is that? Like, are you going to play I can do a that. Song? I can just. Yeah, yes. And then he has a hype man that's hyping, but he's supposed to be like a technician. He just, it was a, it was a clusterfuck. So last night was the rematch. Oh, boy. Was it a hype man back? Because you got to have a hype man. If no, you're be there was extra. no need for a hype man. He, he probably had another consultant that told him, don't do that. See, that backfired. Yeah, yes, that, exactly. The public media guy was like, wait a minute now. The social media yes. consultant, whoa, whoa. Because it was pretty simple. All you have to do is get on your iPhone. That's it. And go IG Live. And that is, the, That's, nothing else needed to be done. You had one job. You had one, one job. job. So last night was the rematch. And let me tell you, it was beautiful. Teddy was still doing too much. I think Teddy, Teddy either. Yeah, that's on, just his personality. It sounds he like. was doing. He was either on crack last night, or he didn't take like the eighty-eight. What's the ADH medicine? Adderall. He didn't take his Adderall. Well, all the drug dealers having to stay inside too. That is they true. They said it's, that's even, a hurt, good it's point. even hurt the drug trade. They, that good point, it's Sean. A, it's that is why I hang out with you because you have good points. This like is that. the only crisis that has made drug dealers and even funeral homes get shut down. They always said, what's recession proof? Funeral home. Not even Not now. now. You can't even have and, a damn funeral. No. And nope. prostitution has yeah, taken true. a hit. That one which, too. Again. Well, I actually told James one day, I said, James, don't let me die right now. Because if I die right now, no one can come to my funeral. I'm like, yep. I want a whole, I want everyone to say, did y'all see the one million people that were at her funeral? She yeah, was really but, something, wasn't she? She was something special. Yeah, but you, sometimes y'all black folks, y'all really put some time in between when somebody dying and being put in the ground. Like okay, James, Brown know, James Brown was on ice for like a year world. and a half. Yeah. So, so anyway, last night uh, was the rematch. And I will tell you, it was great. It was like going down memory lane. So I'm going to, I'm going to say some of the songs. So maybe you two potato white men. Man will know what I was talking about because I can't believe, don't tell, don't ever tell anyone else that y'all know ever again in life that y'all don't know who Kenneth Edmund's baby face is or are these, Teddy Riley. Are these going to be hip hop songs? No! Okay. Some of them, I thought I did a thingy where I had all the songs printed out. Okay, here's some of the songs. Um, Jam by Michael Jackson. No. Nope. Okay. Yep. Uh, In the Closet by Michael Jackson. We have Janet Jackson songs. We've got Tony Braxton songs. Oh. Like some of the biggest mm -hmm. hits, they're going back and forth with it. When can I see you again? Are they These, just so they're just naming songs? No, they're playing them. It's a it's like oh, a battle. Just, uh -huh. Yeah, it's like a battle. Because so like you said, they're doing the greatest. So he wow, he, was he Michael Jackson's producer? Uh, both of them have produced so, songs for Michael Jackson. Wow. Written songs so for wait, Michael Jackson. I'm sorry. So did did this play them like play the original track? Well. Or was because, it like a new because, cover or something? There? Because no, I'm imagining just two people having their iPods fight. No. So, or is this just a karaoke battle? This is karaoke with no singing. Exactly. Among like, exactly. you know, artists? No, or? but they're both singers, though. Okay, yeah. They are both singers who have professional released karaoke. professional <laughs> singers. But this is what they did. Well, Babyface did it the right way. He edited his song. So you wouldn't have to hear 
all of a verse and then go to the chorus. He did it right. Teddy didn't do it right, though. You had to sit through the whole first fucking two verses until you got to the bridge and all of this shit. Babyface did it right, but then Babyface busted out his guitar, his acoustic guitar, and sang When Will I See You Again? Because that was one of Madonna's mm -hmm. and one of Michael Jackson's favorite songs that he wrote. So it was really, really, really cute. I, I feel like I, 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 I need to move on because... You know, when he had the hype man, he should have done Thriller. Because then yeah. he could have done the Thriller dance. <laughs> yep. See, that's the, but it was no music! See if, see, if he brought a hype man... Then you have to do Thriller. I didn't know that was on the table, see? But, yeah. I Like, I, I know the choreography to the Thriller. Yeah, yeah this just sounds so like... We'll have everybody to knows the, the choreography. Well, at least everybody knows the... Exactly. <laughs> that part. That now, part. the rest of it, yeah. no. No, I, I know the rest of okay. it. So, okay. So, that was something that's really cute. So, a lot of uh, producers and artists are doing the little battles. And it's something fun. You know, you've got celebrities on there talking. I, 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 I was talking. Just, I was hyping stuff on there, too. Like, I was a celebrity. And I'm sure everyone like, was like, who is this bitch that keeps putting stuff it up It just here. sounds like two assholes fighting over which song is better, which we've no, done our whole lives. No, but it's fun. Like, they're having fun with it. They're, it's okay. not like they're reimagining how the song would, right? Because they're singing, no. they're doing it themselves. No. Mm -mm. They're just they're saying, playing the song. Well, they're playing the good. song, but it's, there, but they're, it's a different, it's not Michael Jackson doing it. Oh, yeah, God. yeah, they're playing Damn, the Damn, you two have I guess just, I just don't understand. Y'all have ripped this apart so bad. No, they're playing the original track. So it's basically like I'm me gonna, saying. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show y'all. So it, it's like me saying Stevie Ray Vaughan is better than Jimi Hendrix. I'll play you a Stevie Ray Vaughan song. And you say, no, this song's better by, mm. uh, but I thought no, no but I, that's not it at all. Okay, Cause, I'm gonna because the artists are singing in it. Yes. So yeah, it's not. So it's even worse. So it's like you and your friend fighting, but you're each singing the song to each other. No, see, Sean didn't even laugh at that. Well, he, no, because it's not funny. No, it's not you. The way you guys are explaining it is fucking awful. It sounds like okay. Look, 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 look. Here's an example. Here's an example. That's the song he wrote. Hey, an Aaliyah song. So you go back and forth with someone else's song. They wrote the song. Yeah. So they're trying to say my song is better than yours. Yes, I'm a better producer. I'm a better, but it's all fun. Gotcha. Oh, okay. But it was the producers this time, not the. Not, not the artists. artists. Yeah. Now, some of the artists okay. yeah. are doing some. Okay. Gotcha. I can't talk to you. I got you. I'm, no. I'm going to turn I'm this way you. and face Sean. Anyway, so, um, you know, since we've been home, Sushi, my toy poodle, he pulled me off to the side the but other day. Sushi was a terrorist. What are you pulling? Like he like He's on the watch list or something? But he's so, like, he's thug. He's a poodle, but he's got a little bit of thug in him. You know, I always tell people he's mixed race. He's half white, half black, but he identifies with his black side. You walk around and he's making a shank in the... Every Where are you tearing off the bed plots for? What you doing with that? I... He does shit like that. So the other day, he's like, look, bitch, what did all y'all motherfuckers do to get fired from y'all's jobs? Y'all been here 27 days. It's supposed to be the cats that act that way. No, he don't dogs. give a fuck. Then he goes, and why does that man, what's his name, what's his name? He's like, what is that guy's name? He tastes, he looks like one of those things you be giving me. Uh, it, it's orange, and I like to lick all of it, the flavor off of it, and then I crunch, crunch, crunch. A Cheeto? Yeah, that guy that looks like a Cheeto. Why is he on the TV every day? I'm like, Sushi, just, it's a disease going around. He's like, Daddy brought it home, get me. I'm like, Sushi, Daddy didn't bring, I t he's like, it's Daddy. Daddy brought it home. Don't sleep in the bed with Daddy no more. Make Daddy sleep outside in the garage. Daddy brought it, okay? I know, you know Daddy eat Chinese bad brains. I'm like, Sushi, Sushi, it's. Do you often have conversations with the I'll let James or? answer that. Does she have conversations with, with the, the dog? dog? Yeah. Like rational, reasonable, well, that's back good. and forths. You, we really you, do. You don't want it to be ranting. That's what you don't want. You want it to be. I talk to all of them. And my mom goes, why? We, we, people don't talk to their animals like that. I'm like, yes. They do. You don't talk to your animals? Uh, you know, when I lived alone, when I was in, in uh, college, I did mm -hmm. some. I don't so much now. Um, I do quite often. Yeah. All the time. They like if I they go to the bathroom with me in the morning time and if I don't say good morning by a certain time, Liam fucking gets pissed off and he's like, Meow. We don't talk we don't talk as much. I mean our like everybody, you know, the pets have a certain routine. Like if right. you stay up extra late, they're like, What in the hell is going yeah. on? Like it is three in the damn morning. Yeah. I don't care it's Saturday, it's time for bed. It's time it's we need to all go to bed right now. They they do that, but we don't really have any uh 
think we talked to them too much now, but they, you know, follow us and have no. their routine, they their place they go. and They've got their routines, but we talk. I mean, I talk to them a lot. I mean, I talk to them so much that everyone else in the house talks to them now, too. Like, it's just, they're like family. I, I just, we talk to them. So, anyway, I know that, what are we at, an hour, James? Or almost at an hour? Uh, oh, you're about one, 45 so. minutes. All right, so we're going to start wrapping things up. Uh, yes, as you guys can hear and see, we're still only doing audio. I just, I don't feel... I it was at my request. I look terrible. You look fabulous. He looks fucking busted up from the flow up. Oh, he is just toe up from the flow up. Yeah. I mean, he just came in here. His hair is down to his, his bra strap in the back. Um, I've been wearing one of those actually, so I don't. That, that's just don't you just made that up. I don't, uh, he didn't have no nope. makeup on. His nails yeah. aren't polished. Like he has on nail polish, but it's like shit. Trying to really grow bad. those. We're watching Lord of the Rings the other day. I'm trying to grow them like Saruman, the wizard. This point, you know, it's harder than it looks. I, I really, you, you ladies have it tough. I, I don't remember you. He just, I mean, his clothes. I mean, that just he has on flip flops. His toenails aren't done. He just came in here looking rough today, so I'm like, I think it'd be best if we just did audio. A little rough, yeah. Yeah, it's just. And awkward. you wanted to do the video, but I said, you know, I just can't. I can't present myself like that to the public. And so. I said, I, I understand. I know. I, I, I know. really do. So before we go, um, is there anything political or economical, any kind of knowledge you oh, want to give to the people? Tons of stuff. I mean, like, <laughs> no, there's nothing going on. No, at all. Um, of course, I mean everybody's worried about it, right? It, yeah. uh, it's the news is not is not great. No, um, it, it's not good at all. The uh, unemployment rates going up every you know, every week. We're having we're setting record numbers every week for unemployment yeah. applications. Um, the we don't even know what the the economic numbers are now to see if we're in a recession or not. But everyone just assumes that we are. I mean, right. the government had a program to help small businesses like yours. Mm -hmm. Two hundred fifty billion. It went. Almost a month, less than a month, it ran out of money. That's Talking about putting in more. We right. just did a program in the city. I was telling you right before the show, right? Yeah. We got an email that we were doing grants of up to $10,000 for small businesses during this. And mm -hmm. we had 50 applicants, and they were saying that they probably would want to ask us to approve more money, which right. I think we we probably can okay. um, look at it. But, yeah, it's it's bad everywhere. It's um, it's terrible. Um, it And it... The only good thing about it is, is that whenever this is over, it, who knows when that's going to be? Right. Um, that there's going to be a lot of pent up demand. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody at home, if if magically tomorrow, let's say, they could say, all right, it is somehow safe to go out. Right. Oh, everybody run out, go to a restaurant, a yeah. movie, vacation. Yeah. And so you'd start to see. I, I think so. The prediction is that when things do pick up, mm -hmm. it'll be rapid. But mm -hmm. when does it pick up? I think we're talking too about in Georgia. You know, talking about opening up restaurants. Mm -hmm. I was talking, and James was mentioning it, and I said, well, they're not going to get the kind of turnout, right? the kind of demand that they would have got normally. People right. are going to stay home voluntarily even. Mm -hmm. um, so then you get to when is it normal, and you talk about probably a vaccine. Mm -hmm. I was actually on a conference call uh, right before this. The, um, the Council on Foreign Relations, this interest group, does these different talks, and they send these local people emails. So I dialed in this conference call. Mm -hmm. I guess in the rosiest scenario, a guy said that there's a form of a vaccine that maybe in a three to six month range oh, they could have out but you've been here here in really 18 months and that was a month ago so maybe 17 months is the long end but that would be if everything went really great and it was in the first trials were really effective and everything mm -hmm. worked well he was saying you know maybe through maybe into summer something like that but then you have to produce it and get it to people but how that, hard but is that, it to make a vaccine don't you just put a little bit of this a little bit of difficult. that shake you know, it up there it, it's yeah, complex and the, and the the call was good because it was like a scientist that does this stuff and he's right. explaining it as simply as he could I, but we there's existing ways that, that we deliver vaccines mm -hmm. and that's good and they can adapt they have to adapt those methods to this virus and they don't tend to make vaccines for coronaviruses apparently mm -hmm. so that part's a little out there but they are trying multiple methods and we just really don't know. It, we could get lucky in the first trials that they do. It could prove to be very effective, right. and they can put it out, or they might not be, and or you might have two different kind of vaccines mm -hmm. could be effective, and they got to decide which one or both to use or things right. like that. There's other things with antibodies they don't know. They assume if you get it, you can't be reinfected, mm -hmm. but they don't know that for sure. They think they said on this call today he thought probably so, but they don't know how long it could be months or sometimes you can get years but it might be let 
it, it's hard to know. So without knowing those things, I, I, they, I have been hearing that they're saying the virus is not actively mutating, which is good because that means if we stamp it out now, we'll stamp it out. Right. You have to get the flu vaccine every year because it changes subtly right. and the vaccine doesn't work. But th what I've been hearing is they're saying this one doesn't, isn't showing signs of continuing to mutate, which yeah, is this good. Is the, so, yeah, this yeah. is the first coronavirus that has uh, moved to people because coronavirus is amongst animals. Well, they do. SARS day. did. Yeah, it does happen. First, yeah. Um, this is the, the most, I guess, the most ag aggressive one. And yeah, the problem with the vaccine is that um, it's easy to kill a virus. Mm -hmm. It's hard to make sure you're not going to also kill people. Uh -huh. So the, the testing, the trials are, are, are for yeah. efficacy of the that vaccine. That it works but also and you don't make kill sure, people. <laughs> exactly. It's also safety. Right? Yeah. That's, and Which you just don't very... want to rush. No one will say, well, you want to use this unproven vaccine? Yeah, right. shoot me up. I mean, exactly. <laughs> I don't, right. I don't you know. You may not that. survive it, but yeah. you know. Yeah. Well, and no one wants to take the risk of being the company that put it right. out. Right. That then is right. liable for the damage it causes. Right. right? Well, and so. also that's bad politically and socially, because if that happens, there are people who will distrust mm -hmm. any vaccine that comes out right. and they won't get it and Which it will makes... be bad. Oh, yeah. And they, they do have to balance which the makes urgency. the anti-vaxxers even worse and that's makes what, it more dangerous for everybody else. That's what they were saying on the call is they said, you know, the, the, they had this more doctor and then someone who'd worked for the, uh, I think it was the CDC or something, mm -hmm. and one of the presidential administrations. And she was like, well, we got to get this thing out, but we also have to balance safety. And so it's right. really tough to, to do those things. But it, like James was saying, coronaviruses actually don't mutate a lot. Mm -hmm. um, and so that's good news. It won't continue to get worse. But this one's particularly nasty because SARS, the death rate was like 10% if you mm -hmm. had SARS. But the difference was that you showed, you transmit, you developed symptoms very quickly. Mm -hmm. And like everybody that had it mm -hmm. showed symptoms and they could identify very easily. But not with this the one is, is yeah. so pernicious because you can do it asymptomatically. Right. It's transmitted somewhat easily mm -hmm. and it, be very, but it can lead to very severe illness and leave those lasting effects, and it's hard to harder to treat. So it's yeah, H1N1, so so and, and that's why. Wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong, both of you. So what I'm hearing is that neither one of you knew who Babyface or Teddy <laughs> Raleigh were, but y'all could tell me about coronavirus mutation well, and vaccine. Well, here would be my answer. Here would be my answer to that. If I'm on city council, do, do people want me to know what the how the coronavirus works or who no, artists are? Right, but <laughs> it depends on your uh, you constituency. You hear what I'm saying, though, right? You, <laughs> yes. you, you hear me. Uh, it depends on your it depends like, on your okay, demographics. You can hear crickets when I brought up Babyface and Teddy Riley, but I say coronavirus. And here we y'all had y'all's own IG battle about coronavirus. Vaccine. I don't know what a battle, but yeah, I got you. I got you. <laughs> going to, yeah. Oh, corona. I'll take you that. I'll raise you an H1N1. Right. <laughs> Oh no, swine flu. Sean, I'm gonna make you probably deny our friendship when <laughs> sure. I say this, but you do know that um, I thought coronavirus was like from Mexico, right? From it's, Corona Beer. That's who I feel bad for is is the beer company. No, because they they went down oh, a lot. Because there's there's some now I heard it. There was some stuff on the internet that said they went down by a degree that wasn't really true. That oh, they okay. were but that I think there has been some hit on sales because people sure. are people are ignorant. Yeah. It was either gonna go one of he two ways. He looked at me when he said people are ignorant. No, because I'm talking to <laughs> he you. He made direct eye contact No, wait a minute. Now, just a minute ago, I told you not to run this, yourself down. And this now you're whole time, to... he's been facing that wall every time he's talking. That talked. is not true. But then when he said people are ignorant, he made direct eye contact with me, and he widened his eyes. You ever heard of projection? <laughs> projection? You're, no, you're projecting. No, I'm not. You're projecting your own insecurity No, I'm not. I'm yeah. not insecure. Are you kidding me? No, I'm just kidding. Okay, go on. So coronavirus. Oh. You, you, well, it, you, kind of your joke. Who, who didn't know? I didn't know this much about coronavirus since right. two months ago. But it, it does when you're, for one, the subject I teach. It, mm -hmm. was, it was funny. So every day in class, as Kyle will tell you, I always say, I want everybody to have some kind of current event topic. Right. What's the topic? I got to the point right before spring break when this ended. Every time we come in, they all talk about coronavirus. Yeah. And I had one class. I said, I go, okay, next, next week, about not about coronavirus. That. They still did it anyway. <laughs> Right, and he didn't so, really mean it when he said that. Guys. I know, and, and so it. we, you know, we're that. That's one reason. And then, man, I, you know, being at home and then being in city government, mm -hmm. this is a. I dealt with. I thought the first natural disaster I'd deal with was a hurricane, hurricane or something. Yeah, right? yeah. That's the thing. This is, and everybody's telling me this is bizarre. Nobody has dealt with. No one alive today has dealt with some situation yeah. like this. 
it's it's crazy. So yeah, I'm on con when, when I saw that email about the conference call being about vaccine development, I don't do a lot of those, but I was like, oh, that one I'm, I'm gonna, gonna dial in. into. Yeah. Cause because you want to hear some of that stuff. Right. And um I'm watching the news all the time about it. I mean just just to kind of keep tabs on what's going on, but it it's con it really it's concerning and the calls are hard when initially remember there when the rodeo closed it's kind of oh, when yeah. here locally that started yeah and there was a I lot think shit of was real then and this whole thing started with should we close things should we not close things mm -hmm. and there was a and there was some heat for right. that and i i was i think the only person in the city who initially ended up saying um it was probably i want to say the week after spring break or something i said i, I put out a post and i said i think we should really consider closing mm -hmm. some things down and then the governor did it anyway before mm -hmm. council met right so we didn't end up doing that, but um, that, that's concerning when do you open stuff, when do you not, the economic part of it, I'm, the city budget I'm worried about. If you read about Kima, so Kima of course has the boardwalk. So right. the city of Kima, there's like 3 million visitors to the boardwalk a year, All most of their revenue sales tax. Right. I don't even need to look at the world to tell you that. They furloughed, I think, most of the police yeah. department, fire yeah, police heard. officers, yeah. they, yeah, I, I, it was dire. And I don't know that ours will be that bad, but I'm sitting around like, what's, this, what's the budget gonna be like? Right. And, what what are the the states and the feds going to do to supplement some of it? Because it could be catastrophic for some local governments, and yeah. you got to weigh that stuff. And it it that it is a whole other level of responsibility. We're, you know, you're worried about your own family too, mm -hmm. but you're also worrying about that, and you know, trying to support local business and do different things. So yeah. it's it's been it's been interesting, but it makes you have to pay attention to that stuff. Yeah, and yeah. It's, um, I mean, the big difference I think in 2009 we had H1N1, mm -hmm. which killed way more people was was by the numbers a lot worse but government took a much more kind of a just you know do yeah. some general things mm -hmm. but not lock down and i think what happened is they learned from that and said well let's not have the same amount of death right but may have gone too far in impacting everything could, could and be. maybe this was the maybe the next time it'll be somewhere in the middle cuz you you can't tank industries in order to you know to deal with it, you know, 12,000 It could be. It, it's a, though it's the, a though the thing answer, is that right? at some point when it's, that we say, oh, it's only been this many deaths. But the argument, of course, is that part of that is because we did these things, right? We can't go to some alternate universe. It's like saying, well, why did I deprive myself of steak forever? I never died of a heart attack. And they say, well, but you would yeah. have, right, if you had done it. Yeah, it's a, it's a, I mean, there's a. It's hard for us to, we call that a, they call it a counterfactual, right? If right. we could go to another universe where we did nothing, right? Mm -hmm. Where there were no restrictions put in place. Mm -hmm. And if we could go there and say, oh my God, like millions of people died. Right. Then when we came back to this universe, we, excuse me, we'd say we absolutely should do it. But since we can't do that, right. the yeah, second guessing we, starts to come. And yeah. I'll tell you, as an elected official, man, you. You worry about those things, but you also worry about death, right? That mm -hmm. people are, you, know, you don't want somebody to die, right? And, right? and it is one of those things that I don't, I don't want to be in the position where I said, you know, I took a vote that maybe was risky and somebody died, right? Because action I took, you have to be able to take that there. And, a bit, and also the economic part that you have to be able to think. I also don't want to take a vote that is shutting it's, down people's livelihoods. But right. it, to me, it shows that the country at large is unprepared yeah. for this because... There, there's the, the government needs to be better set up to respond to things like this to help small business and right. and other things and keep things rolling. I yeah, mean, I think I think if this happens because this usually happens about every ten to eleven every time years there's a where presidential there's presidential election. Well, well, it's, well that's no, that's no, the good news that. for it's, a lot of people is that it yeah. is an election year. So I was saying to people that have lost their job, good news. Yeah. It's an election year, so everyone's going to have to be on their best behavior to try to help you because right. yes. they will get killed in yes. the November. <laughs> Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. I, I think I. You know, I think the next time this happens, you'll probably see something different just because we learned from one way, we've learned from this way, right. somewhere in the middle is probably about right. But I mean, you can't, I mean, it, you it, can't tank large parts of the economy because, yeah, you want to avoid death, but you also have to take care of the vast majority of the people that are still living. Mm -hmm. You know, but it's. I, I read there's an, inter there's an interesting opinion piece in the New York Times. I'm not taking a position saying we should do this or not, but what the guy said was to pay for some of this stuff. Because basically, what you're trying to do is if people lose a job, right? You're trying to just ideally the government would give the business or the person money until the economy opens back right. up. Well, of course, at some point, that's just cost a lot of money. So this editorial said uh, it recommended taxing, I can't remember, I think it was the top 5% of earners mm -hmm. and taxing all their wealth over two and a half million or something like one-time tax, 
that it would generate like $2 trillion. It's like a one-time payment. So you mean the people with the home well, theaters where they can, can yes, get the movies? It, because basically the argument would be what what's happening is if you're some company, right, and profits are down and you have – now some companies have been very good, right? They've really cut, they've cut like their own compensation or right. executive pay. Mm -hmm. But they're – Money's not being spent, so somebody's holding that money, right? Somebody mm -hmm. has it, and the idea is that if they're holding money that they're not spending for whatever reason, if you do this as a one-time deal, right. you're sort of giving this jolt because eventually the debt, it would be like what in a war, right? That essentially it would be like using it for bond spending right. or something. Um, just it was an interesting idea, controversial. My guess is they're just going to borrow the money. I'm not, <laughs> not actually taxing them to pay for it. So... Sean, anyway. if anyone is interested in following you on social media or fi uh, following your political page, how can they find you? Yeah, so my city council page is uh, at Sean number four Dickinson. And that's Sean S E A N. S E A N, right. So, yeah, on Facebook, at Sean S E A N number four Dickinson. Yes, so make sure to check his page out. Please do. We're about to get out of here. Yeah. I'm sure before all of this is over with, we'll all tell Sean, hey, come do the podcast with me again. And next time, we will talk about more mature things. Well, it's funny when you ask me, what, you know, what are you doing today? Um, <laughs> You're like, what day is it? I know. <laughs> what day? What, is it a.m.? p.m.? What is this? Is this a sunrise or I'm a like, sunset? I'm like, this is the light one, the one it's light outside. Oh, yeah. the A. Like, oh, a yes, comes the first. A. Yes. First, the early one. Yes. Right. So well, I'm sure I'll yeah. just say, hey, come do the podcast with me again and down, I think you're worried I was getting a little cooped up. I was. You're trying to help me get out of the house. I was like, yeah, which, come on. Come which on, I do come appreciate. Get out of the house. Come on, come on, come on. Well, make sure you pay attention because we'll have another episode of Petty Politics. Yes. So. Yeah, we, we were going to do that, and then I think all of this. All this hell broke loose. We were planning, yeah. and then all this started. So we need, yeah. especially now, we need to do it. Yeah. We should. I agree. Let's do it soon. We'll do it. All right, you guys, we will see you next Wednesday. Be safe yep. and remember to wash your hands and your booty holes. Don't touch your face. Don't touch your face, especially after you touch your booty hole. <laughs> Don't, but please just adopt that habit forever. That doesn't need to end when this <laughs> forever, ends. Never, amen. Let's, That's a let's general just carry that on. <laughs> Isn't it been disturbing the amount of people who go, yes. I'm washing my hands so much now. Yeah. What'd you do before? Uh, what did you do before? Yeah. yeah. I just, you whatever. Boy. It is very, very concerning. I'm like, well, I quit licking doorknobs now. <laughs> it's really. And toilets, like that one girl looking toilets. Oh, my. Like... She said, did you hear? She goes, I glycoled it first. It's still a toilet. Uh, all right, guys. So be yeah. safe, and we'll see you next Wednesday. It's the Neighbor Lounge. The Neighbor Lounge.